An ambitious law to cut emissions from buildings in New York City goes into effect next year. One building in Brooklyn getting ahead of that. They'll be at net zero upon completion in 2025. Diana Olick is at the construction site with a look at what will be the largest geothermal residential building in the state. Diana. Well, Kelly, geothermal heating and cooling has been around for a while, but generally just on single homes or small buildings. But Lendlease, an Australia-based developer, is now testing this on a massive scale here in Brooklyn. 320 boreholes are being drilled nearly 500 feet into the ground, creating a complex loop of piping that will eventually result in the largest geothermal apartment complex in the U.S. What we're looking at now, again, I kind of akin this to your heart and to the, the veins and arteries in your body. This is how it works. Water below the frost line is at a constant temperature. By drilling down to it and creating a loop system of pipes, the water is brought up through heat pumps, which can heat or cool the building all year long. It's approximately 55 degrees once you get below the frost line, and we are using that constant temperature to cool in the summer and to be warmer in the winter. The project, which takes up a full city block on the edge of the East River, will have 834 rental units across five buildings, including a 37-story tower. Using geothermal will reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by an estimated 53 percent, but it'll cost about 6 percent more to build. However, over a 20-year span, we more than make that back. So as a long-term owner of an apartment building, we view this as, in addition to its sustainability, a financially sustainable practice. Now, Lendlease will also get a $4 million clean energy grant from the state of New York. And while there will be some affordable housing units in the buildings, given the view that they're going to get from here, you can bet that the rents on this building, when it gets finished, are going to be top dollar, which right now, Given the size, depending on the size, would be anywhere from seven to ten thousand dollars a month. Kelly and Diana, I'm wondering about the prevalence of geothermal for you know uh, single-family homes across the country. That's been a, a long under consideration idea, but is it economical? Yes, it absolutely is. In fact, we did a story out in Texas a while back about a massive geothermal residential housing community of single family homes, hundreds of them. That's actually easier to do than this because you can spread it out over wide swaths of land. It's difficult to do in a large city because you have to find just the right piece of land and make sure that it has all the things in it that will be able to support geothermal. But it certainly can be done. And that's what they're showing here. They're hoping it's a template for other cities with laws like New York, like Boston. Boston and Washington, D.C. also upping their emission standards. That's a really interesting point, how it'd be even harder uh, for some of these major complexes. Diana, thanks so much. Our Diana Olick reporting.